Greetings! So I've had a couple questions about Word Chapter 1, the simulator, and specifically task number 9, and in that task, specifically deleting the footer. So let me show you what I think the uh, situation is. So I've switched over to the simulator and I've used my view all menu to go specifically to task number nine because that's the task in question. And of course there's a few steps prior to getting to the one that we need to focus on the deleting, but the first part of this task gives me the opportunity to demonstrate something that's going to be important as we delete the footer. The first part of this task says delete the paragraph beginning with Swan Creek National Wildlife and that's this paragraph here. And as I move this paragraph so that we can see it, perhaps what many of you did is you clicked and you kept your mouse button held down and you drug to the end of the paragraph. And there is certainly nothing wrong with that. Okay. Now, I will say this, sometimes when you're working on that little mouse pad on your uh, laptop, your hand kind of gets cramped from doing that dragging. Um, also, sometimes we get a little inaccurate and we start to, you know, we're pressing and we're dragging and we get to about here and then we accidentally let up and then we click to drag again and oops, and then we have to start over. Or sometimes we do this thing where we drag and then we lift up and we click again to drag and and my text starts moving see how it's attached to my mouse there and it ends up moving it and yeah incorrect action there because I, I just have trouble with all this selecting and this is not a a fault it's just human. I mean, like I said, your hand cramps. Uh, sometimes our, our finger jumps just a little bit and so we don't keep that selection and and it can be frustrating. So there's a lot of shortcuts that can help you work accurately um, and move through your assignments and in the workforce help you to work quickly and accurately and those are a good combination. So to select this paragraph, I realize this is not the, the key part of the task that we're focused on, but to select this paragraph, a, a shortcut is to triple click. One, two, three, all in a row. T -t 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 triple click. It selects the paragraph. Now I don't have to worry about all that dragging and I can just press the delete key on my keyboard. Now that's important to remember. Now it's asking me to delete um, a little bit more and I am going to drag over this. I'll show you another shortcut. Well, I say I was going to drag. I can click at my starting place because it says to start with explore nature. I can hold the shift key down on my keyboard and then click at the ending place. When you hold your shift key down, it selects everything from your starting point to your ending point. Let me show you that again and let me talk you through the sequence. Move the insertion point by clicking, right? I've clicked before explore, I see the insertion point pressing and holding down the shift key. Now nothing's going to happen as, as I'm holding that shift key down until I press another key or mouse or button or something. So if I move to the end, I've got my shift key held down, click, right? It's going to select all that. If I now press the delete key, that was a very accurate way to select, boom, that's deleted. Now I have to, let's see, quickly it says go to the Layout tab, change to Landscape, I'll do that quickly, change to the View tab, uh, let's see, it wants me to zoom to one page, it wants me to go back to Layout, change to Portrait, uh, go back, they're making sure I'm learning these steps and zoom to 100%. Okay, so I just needed to move on to our final task here, <clears throat> excuse me, which is the footer. Now, it says double click in the footer area and the whole purpose of that is simply to open the footer. Now, from previous tasks, you have already learned that there are different ways to open the footer. And those different ways in this particular instruction would be marked wrong because they didn't tell you to go through the menus. It understands that that is another way to open the, the footer. It's not that the computer is, is stupid in that way. Um, it, it's instructing you to use a very specific technique and that technique is to double click. So that's the first thing you want to be careful of. My footer is open. Now <clears throat> the next part of the instruction is very specific. It says select both 
footer entries. So if right now I start trying to press my delete key, first of all, how many times would I have to press the delete key? Delete, 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 delete. That is not efficient. Okay, so if you're in a work situation and you have to get your work done and you are pressing the delete key once for every single one of these characters, it is simply going to take you forever to accomplish the smallest tasks. Okay, now you may say to yourself, but I didn't do that. I selected U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and I delete, tried to delete that and then I tried to come over here and delete this and it keeps marking me wrong. So for example, if I select only this file right here and I press delete, in complete action because that's not the instruction. I really have to follow the instructions and the instruction says to select both footer entries. Now, how can I do that? Well, I can drag across both. I can click at the beginning, hold my shift key down and click at the end. Or since this is a single paragraph, I can triple click. So different methods, any of those are acceptable methods for selecting because they did not instruct me on a specific technique to use. And now I can press my delete key. Voila. I, as it moves on to the next question, I do want to say I appreciate your telling me that you are using the learning aids to, you know, accomplish that uh, task. I, I don't think I can go back to that task to, um, well, yeah, okay. Well, it's marked it correct, so it's not going to let me go back because I would show you that again. But, um, you know, the learning aids are very good. One other mistake that students may make is when you select something, let's pretend we're still on that last task. When you select some text, it sometimes bothers us to see that shading, and we kind of need to shake it loose. So we select what we intend to act upon and then we click away. And when you do that, you are not affecting the selection anymore. The kind of trainer's uh, mantra here is whatever is uh, selected will be affected. And so the kind of the final tip here is if you are on that footer and you were planning to delete something, if you selected, like if I select, triple click, select this whole paragraph, but then right before I press the delete key, I, I click something else, even if it's accidental. You know, I, I, I select everything, I, don't know, I select everything, and then I, I oops, I, I didn't mean to, oops, oops, well, that oopses means that everything is not selected anymore. So that's kind of a final tip for success. I hope this video helps and good luck to you. I love that you guys are out there just working so hard and you're going to meet those due dates and I just appreciate that so much. Uh, fantastic job folks. Thank you.